What are you gonna make for dinner? It's dinner time. I am gonna do a casserole. I normally don't do casseroles, but someone emailed me or texted me asking that I do some sort of a casserole because they work and they need something they can throw together, put in the oven, and it's gonna be delicious. I am making a chicken and stuffing casserole. What do we need? Obviously, chicken. Chicken broth. I'm gonna use two cans of cream of mushroom, but you could use cream of chicken, you could use cream of celery. In my pan here, I already have going two ribs of celery and one onion. I'm just sauteing it, getting it translucent. Doesn't need to be cooked all the way through because it's gonna, I'm flying stuff all over. Doesn't need to be cooked all the way through because it's gonna go into our, stay in our pan, but add our chicken and our sauce and it's gonna go into the oven with foil on top of it. All right, so this was two ribs of celery, an onion, just sauteing it in some olive oil, salt and pepper. I also have my beef, my chicken broth. So you can buy the cartons of chicken broth or you can just buy it like this and then add it to water and make your own. It's cheaper and nor is the best on the brand or best on the market. So that's the one I use. Uh, again, two cans of cream of mushroom, cream of chicken, cream of celery, whatever you want. And we're gonna need a box of stuffing or if you have your own breadcrumbs, get your own breadcrumbs out. So what we're gonna do is let this saute. I'm gonna break up my breadcrumbs right now and then I'll be right back. All right, I have diced up my frozen bread. Diane, why do you have frozen bread? Anytime I have extra bread, I just chunk it up into large pieces like this and I throw it in a Ziploc bag. And then what I might use this for is obviously stuffing. Or if I need to make a dessert, I make, might make bread pudding because that's what bread pudding is, is extra leftover bread. That's what makes it so delicious. All right, so in my pan now I have, um, what I did while we were in between was I took my two cans of cream of mushroom soup and I added a half a cup of almond milk. I don't have any regular milk, so I just use almond milk. I'm gonna take my chicken, I'm gonna put it into my pan. This is gonna go straight in the oven. So this is just two big chicken breasts diced up. I did marinate mine, you don't need to. Salt, pepper, make it delicious. Okay, we're gonna sprinkle our, uh, celery onions. One thing I did not add was I did not add my garlic to my celery and onions because I didn't want it to burn. So what I'm gonna do is add it to my soup mixture. You gotta have garlic in there. Garlic is love. Okay, so I got my mixture. I don't know if you can see this on top of my chicken. Cha-cha. All right, now I'm going to add my soup mixture over the chicken. Again, you can use cream of celery, cream of chicken, cream of mushroom. And then you're adding a half a cup of milk to your can. I'm gonna spread it over. You want it to cover. Cover, cover, cover. My little chicken. All right, now we're gonna add our breadcrumbs. This is where you could use a box of chicken stuffing or you can use your big pieces of bread. I think this is gonna turn out amazing because the top of the bread is gonna get crusty, like real stuffing, it won't get too mushy. And I do not like stovetop stuffing. Neil loves it, it's too salty, I don't like it. I like to make my own. All right, so we have our stuffing or our bread on top. Diane, how am I gonna make this? You're not measuring, you're not doing anything. You're talking crazy. There are so many casserole recipes out there. It doesn't matter what you throw into a pan. Everything is gonna be good. Rarely can you go wrong with a soup mix, a meat, and some vegetables. Just as long as you season it with salt and pepper, add some garlic, you're good to go. All right, I have my chicken stock here. I'm gonna give it a little whisk whisk. Make sure it is incorporated. After my last uh, grits video, I don't know if you saw it, I lost the whisk into the pot of grits and I didn't have an extra one. So of course, little Sue Harris gave me an extra whisk. So if I ever lose it again. Okay, here's my chicken stock. I'm just gonna pour that over the top of my bread because the bread is dry. It's gonna need some kind of a liquid. So whether you use a box stuffing or you do the bread kind like this, you're still gonna need that. All right. What else? You gotta do butter. 
I always do chunks of butter. Just put a few dollops. This is going to make it delicious. I don't know if you watched the um, grits video also. George and I were fighting over the butter because it fell on the floor. It's a very funny video. You should watch that one. Okay, done. Uh, I'm going to do a little pepper on the top because my bread crumbs here were not seasoned. I'm also going to sprinkle a little bit of oregano on there because if I would have done a box of stuffing, there would have been some seasoning. So I'm going to put a little seasoning in here. Perfect. Done. 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 Okay. Foil. Got my oven on 375. I'm going to wrap it with foil. Here's a restaurant trick. You got your foil? Anytime. You're going to put this on something, use the dull side. But here's your restaurant trick for the day. How do you get it from sticking? You take your spray pan, you spray it on your foil, and then this is the side that goes down. That way, nothing will stick to that foil when you pull it off. Same for lasagnas or macaroni cheeses or anything that you're baking that you're going to put foil on. Put a layer of um, spray pan. I use spray olive oil. Okay. This is gonna go in the oven now for about 30, 40 minutes. I'm gonna check it, probably take that foil off and then let the top get brown and then I have dinner, bam. And then what I'm also gonna do is just saute some vegetables. My mom bought me a big bag of carrots, broccoli, zucchini, and cauliflower. So I'm gonna take those out, let them thaw out a little bit, saute them and serve that on the side because I have my stuffing. I just need a little bit of veggie and I'm good to go. That right here is a pot of rice that I am cooking because I need to make dog food. So I'm multitasking. I'm gonna do a turkey rice dog food in a little while. All right, if you have any questions on casseroles, really all you need is two cans of cream of celery, cream of chicken, cream of mushroom, a cream soup. You need to have some chicken base, chicken stock. You need to have your carrots and onions, or I'm sorry, your onions and your celery. We could add carrots in there if we wanted. And you're just going to put it all together and bake it. You can't go wrong. Um, if you have any questions, give me a call. Or also just Google easy casserole recipes. There's a ton out there. And like I said, this is really my thing. But I'm doing one because why not? I need lunch for Neil next week. All right. I'll show, show you some pictures on Facebook of what it looks like at the end product. Have a good day.